gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages, Coaster Chow here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks. I am back. Sorry, it's been a, f a couple of days. Um, I've been ill past couple of days. Um, recovered, thankfully. And um, yeah, so I've got a couple of videos I'm going to pre record, a few videos I'm going to pre record because I've got a lot going on this weekend, not enough time to record anything. So I've got some videos planned for this weekend. Hope you do enjoy that. Uh, I've got some more content from Flamingo Land coming up as well. So very excited to share that, including a POV. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but let's get into this video then, this theme park news update, the first of two today. And uh, this is from Worlds of Fun. Now, this is on Project 50. The brand new roller coaster for 2023. We know what this is. We know what this is now. Now, before you get started, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you know this YouTube video. And for now, let's get straight into this one and share the news you've all been wanting to hear. So, according to good friend Zach at WOF Ginger, who's posted the pictures before from the site uh, that we've used in the video, he's been a big fan of the updates as well. So, credit to him again. It will be, according to newly updated plans filed with the city, a wooden roller coaster. Now, obviously, we don't know um manufacturers we don't know any of that extra detail yet all we know is it's going to be a wooden roller coaster now obviously as you can see by the couple of images that are going to come across your screen during this little section um like you say it's a wooden coaster you see the um the filings with the city you see what's been uh, put about and uh, obviously the guessing game begins now you know what will this you know what who will be the manufacturer who will be um the one you know doing the it, do, doing the track who, who, will be, who will be the one creating this roller coaster who will be the manufacturer of this roller coaster and i think a few names have been tossed about i think gci has been tossed about uh gravity group has been tossed about a lot uh by a lot of people um I mean, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? It really is going to be interesting. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it is uh, Gravity Group. I really wouldn't be surprised, especially since Dorney Park's on and off wooden coaster project is a Gravity Group. Um, now, the one responsible for actually blowing the whistle on this uh, wooden coaster was One Click Gang on Instagram. Now, apparently this is indeed a third wooden coaster, which is baffling. Um, now, Gravity Graph slash Gravity Group is a very simple assumption, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, you've got Prowler, you've got Timberwolf, um, being a GCI, though, so... You know, GCI is the more common one with Cedar Fair Chain with Prowler and Timberwolf. You've got Gravity Group, which could be a simple assumption, especially with Dorney Park's project. Um, now, obviously, you know, it, it's going to be interesting to see um, who it will be. I don't think it'll be RMC. I don't think it'll be them at all. Um, I think... I think it will be, because I mean, RMC do do hybrids, top of tracks, eye box, that kind of thing. They either do the hybrids or, the, or they do full steel or they can do wooden coasters as well. So, you know, it, 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 I don't think it'll be RMC though. I, I don't think it'll be one of them at all. I think we're looking here at GCI or Gravity Group. Now, one of the things I did want to note is Gold Striker at California's Great America, which is, of course, closing in the next few years. Now, I'm not saying for a fact they're going to relocate Gold Striker. I'm not saying that at all. But what if a similar type of layout from, a, from either GCI or Gravity Group was constructed at Worlds of Fun? A similar layout to Gold Striker. Maybe not the same, but a similar one. Maybe even longer. You never know. Um... What about a similar layout to Gold Striker, but with a Gravity Group or GCI modern touch to it, with, with its own theme kind of thing for Worlds of Fun? I, again, it wouldn't be out of the question, and I think it would sum up where a Gold Striker type roller coaster would be going, and then they can just tear down the old Gold Striker when California's Great America gets to shutting. So, um, 
it's going to be interesting to see where all this lies and also where this all speculation heads up but for me i just for me i feel like it's going to be uh, very very interesting indeed so let's talk about uh, the brand new project 50 worlds of fun and also my thoughts on the fact it being a wooden roller coaster so there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seeks of All Ages. That is speaking about Worlds of Fun's Project 50 for 2023. Now, am I happy or sad this is going to be a wooden coaster? I'm happy. I'm not going to lie. I am happy. And the reason why I'm happy is because a wooden coaster is a great addition for Worlds of Fun. Really good addition for Worlds of Fun. For me, I think that a modern, thrilling wooden roller coaster would be a great addition to the park. Um... I mean, does it put into question or doubt any of the current wooden coasters at Worlds of Fun? I don't know. I really, really don't know. Now, in terms of uh, Worlds of Fun's other roller, other wooden roller coasters, I mean, obviously, if you know uh, Worlds of Fun and their their coaster lineup, you know they've got some uh, some great coasters in general. But in terms of wooden roller coasters. You've got Timberwolf and you've got Prowler. Now, Timberwolf is a DIN Corporation. Prowler's a GCI. Um, so, for me, I think Timberwolf, I would say, is most at risk. If you're going to take one down or convert it, then Timberwolf would be most at risk, if you were being completely and utterly honest. But, for me, I think... I think this will probably be a gravity group. I, like I said, I think with Prowler being a GCI, with Timberwolf originally being a DIN Corporation, um, I feel like overall, I think gravity group probably is, probably is going to be the way to go. Now, there has been questions on forums as to whether this will be a clone of the one going to Dorney Park, or is it the one from Dorney Park that was shelved or on and off being relocated to Worlds of Fun. Now, if it is that, I'll be majorly disappointed because for me, that was Dawn's project. That was theirs and theirs alone. That should be their project to do with however they please. If it was going to Worlds of Fun instead, I'd be very, very sad about it. I'm not going to lie to you because I would like to see uh, Worlds of Fun go for something a bit different. But it would still be a good ride, don't get me wrong. But I just think it'd be a bit underwhelming if it was Dawny's project going to Worlds of Fun. I think it'd be a very cost-cutting way. But then again, you know, Cedar and Fair are racking up the debts and they're going to have to pay it off. They're already having to sell the California's Great America land in a few years to to help bring that money back in. So, you know, it, it's it's a, it's a hard one for Cedar Fair. It really, really is. If you had to cost-cut and you had to bring in Dawny's project or bring in a similar project to Worlds of Fun and just clone because of cost cutting then that's what they have to do but i think overall i think it'd be a good ride i think overall if it, if it, if it was dawny's it'd be a good ride if it was similar to dawny's it'd be a good ride um would it be the standout for that site would it be the standout option you need for that site i i'll be honest i'm not too sure i'll have to um fully see it in its full prime you know when the announcement comes and they announce the the new ride and you know what it looks like in the animation and what the area is supposed to look like and how it you know surrounds itself in the area and that kind of thing i'd have to see it on the actual announcement to create a full judgment as to whether i think it would be a good addition or it feels like a good addition to the park so um yeah don't get me wrong a wooden coaster is perfect for worlds of fun it's a great addition to the park like so you got a gci and you got a din corporation original wooden coaster so a third one especially a gravity group one would be a great addition to the park but and, and you know nowadays in theme parks it's not always top level thrills it's mainly family thrills and sort of the the not moderate level of thrills but just a decent level of thrills it's not too ott all the time now uh, compared to what it was in previous years so obviously we're going to see that kind of thrill level that's perfect for the target audience of the theme park but like i said if it it, it should be interesting shouldn't it i think it's just one of those wait and see kind of things to see what it looks like but um if i had to predict one straight away i'll probably go with the gravity group and i'll probably go with not a similar one to dawny i'll probably go with like a, a gold striker similar type layout uh but a gravity group version and again it would bring a third it, technically with the incorporation and gci it would bring a third 
wooden coaster manufactured to the part, which is a nice uh, variation of, of wooden coasters. So uh, there we go. But that's the, it for this video, guys. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I am the C-H-A-L-L, Dongster Born, but built for theme parks. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Project 50-tastic day. Hashtag classified. Thank you.